All right, guys. Uh, this will be interesting. I guess Hassan had a little bit of an upset cryboy face about the Destiny and Ben Shapiro's uh, thing, their debate, which I thought was enjoyable. And you can, I'll put it in the description under sources, where the sources of the videos are too, if you want to watch their video over mine. But you shouldn't, because that would make me sad. Anyway, you probably should, honestly. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm curious about. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting. I'm curious about this. I don't want to watch Hassan's whole reaction. To be honest with you, I'm surprised he even is reacting. Destiny's clearly at a spot where he is just unavoidable um, as a content creator to the point where Hassan, who's been trying to avoid him, is can't. Although he probably can, but he refuses to do so, which is probably not going to help him. He was probably doing better off um, when he was, you know, ignoring Destiny. Um, I like Destiny, obviously, but I'm just saying for Hassan's sake. But he also screwed himself by... Um, Allowing his fans to attack Ethan. Because honestly, I think that's huge. Ethan Klein, whether you like him or not, he's very successful and he's very self-sufficient and independent. Hassan, I don't think so much. And so with the loss of the Leftovers podcast, I think Hassan takes an L. What is he? What else is he really doing? I don't really think he's doing very much. Um, that's like of note uh, or really carrying him. And he couldn't even tell his audience to stop being so like aggressive towards Ethan. Like, he would just justify all the horrible hate speech that people would make in his Discord and Reddit and, and things that he had control over. Meanwhile, he goes on LSF and begs people to take stuff down when Destiny makes fun of him. So it's like, I don't know, Hassan. You think you'd be a little more empathetic to Ethan, somebody that was supposed to be your friend. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here, baby. Let's see what we got here. Not very intelligent and neither is Destiny. Neoliberal pens. Not very intelligent and neither is Destiny. Ne oh, damn. Neoliberal is... Let's be like certainly more intelligent than him. <laughs> I gotta turn myself up actually. I forgot to, that I did from last time when I turned it down. That's funny. So I'm just simply gave more breathing room for a more reformed fascist administration. What does he think fascism is or means? Fascism is when I don't like it. It. Duh. What is fascism to him? I'm asking this facetiously, fascistically. Because to him, fascism is just not communist or not socialist. All liberalism is fascist. Nazis might have lost World War II, but fascism won is definitely a prescient take when you consider the fact that there was a- f He what thinks take? Nazism won because the Soviets didn't win. That's literally it. I guess in his mind, it was the world was communist. Papa, would you beat up Hassan in a dark alley? That's a horrible question to ask. I wouldn't beat him up. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'd do something else. Blah, blah, blah. Some versus fascism and fascism won. The UK is in NATO and are the most anti-Nazi of them all, country of them all. And then, then it's like the fake laugh after doing this whole soy rant where he- this, Why does- this doesn't really care about Nazism, right? Like, I don't know why he keeps bringing up, like, Nazi- why does- he doesn't care. He, like, doesn't justify or give a single, like, true take or facts putting any of his opinion. And now he's gonna laugh like the guy just did the most ridiculous thing in the world. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like here's the thing I find it weird he'll say he cares if like Nazis are bad or whatever because they had bad values because they wanted to hurt people but then when somebody and like I'll say this hey I'm frustrated with like Middle Eastern countries now they have really regressive rights and all of a sudden like no no you can't take that into consideration in anything I feel like I've seen him talk about that before I don't know it's just to me it's weird um Things like it's like we can only call out bad things when they're I don't know self-serving. Uh, <laughs> so Destiny said sorry. You'd be cool with that. Destiny, would you say sorry to Hassan? It's right time. political spectrum. Oh, oh what? It's just Hassan molding at me for like five hours. What was even the point? Hassan, James, why you said Destiny was good debating? Did he watch the whole thing or just part of it? Dog shit. Well, he's good at debating when he wants to be because you should be bad faith. If you want to be good at debating, you're gonna oh. be bad faith. I don't think that Destiny was particularly bad faith in the conversation. There were some people in my chat that were like annoyed that Destiny wasn't pushing harder, if anything, which I didn't really care about. I mean. You're not going to be incredibly aggressive against somebody that you barely met. And also, I thought it was fine. I think I didn't think either of them were being bad faith. Maybe it was just beyond me. They were just debating. That much of the like, yeah, some people can be annoying when it comes to debates, but it seemed like I liked the conversation that they had. I liked the debate. It was nice, calm, and respectful. Um, Lex didn't really have to talk much, which is not doesn't speak negatively to Lex. Um, there are some people who need moderators because they won't be uh, stop being obnoxious. The two of them were generally respectful. It was a nice conversation. Rhetoric, much of the rhetorical tools that apply in debates, revolve around basically taking logical fallacies that would get you punished in a debate club style scenario and justifying it by claiming that it's actually hyper logical to ask these questions. Like rationalizing intellectual, I mean, logical fallacies is how you win debates because most people are stupid. Okay, I'm most debate watchers are stupid. Order. I'm stupid. Ben's not very intelligent, and neither is Destiny. So as stupid people. <laughs> Funny. How many different intros you're gonna have, Destiny? Stop! I, I mean, Ben is not a dumb guy. I disagree with his politics, but he's a smart person. I mean, we all weird find ourselves enamored by logical fallacies. What about ism? Like 
Whatever you can do, whatever deflection. Damn, it's kind of sad to see Hassan desperately trying to communicate to people that he's smart. Because <laughs> that's all this is, man. That's all. <laughs> that's all it is. I'm smart too. I'm smart too. I'm just as smart as Destiny. Listen, I gave up on trying to be smart, dude. I just make terrible jokes constantly. And it's been working, by the way. I have like a slightly above average level of intelligence. And then I make dumb fart poop and sex jokes. And I've been doing pretty well, for actually. So maybe you need to do something else, Hassan. Uh, although I think all Hassan has is virtue signaling. So all Hassan has is eat hot chip and lie and virtue signal. And you can use in that circumstance uh, is very effective as Ben demonstrated right here. He knew that he didn't have a strong point. So he deflected away to an area where he thinks... He has a shot. Oh, that might have happened. There are a few times where I felt like Ben just kind of was like steamrolled a little bit and moved on to a point. I agree with that. Sure. Why not? I guess. Stronger point, which is family values. Family so freaking values. <sighs> My favorite family value is um getting up while I react to stuff and leaving the video on and then have getting the chicken my mommy made me. That's my favorite uh family value personally. That's mine. Who does Hassan consider to be intelligent? Whoever says America the hardest. So Chomsky. Hey. Finkelstein, uh, Finkelstein. Uh, where else he talks about hates Who's America? That? Probably that one dude from Iraq on the uh, the Deprogram podcast. This I don't know. I just slow. think that yeah, everyone's stupid. Some are stupid than others. Exactly. Okay. Thanks. I'm son. a demon dick writer, and I come in bees. When would you say he's been bad to someone on the left, brother? Whose chat do you think you're in? At, even DGGers admit that Destiny, when it comes to me, has a soft spot where he just can't control his emotions and loses his mind. They even. <sighs> um. Listen, I'm not the most active Destiny GGer. I still I'm, I engage though with this kind of stuff. I mean, I I the only I think the only thing is sometimes maybe Destiny will talk about him too much in the past. I guess that would be it. But you're the one talking about him, brother. Been fantasized about me doing the same thing to him, bro. I have been so so. I think there's been like one or two times ever where I've been like quote unquote bad faith about Hassan. You know, f women in that brothel that eventually got busted for trafficking people or whatever. Sometimes which isn't even. It's not even false. He did go to that brothel, though, and he did f women in there, I assume. Oh, based. Based Hassan, dude. You should bring back that 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 bit, Hassan. If he went into a brothel. I'll go into a... I wouldn't go but, into like, a he's brothel. Back to it's just weird to me. I feel like I couldn't... Like, I don't care about paying women because, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't respect women, so I don't care about that part. But I couldn't be with somebody... <laughs> I couldn't be with somebody that where I couldn't tell if they were actually enjoying it, you know? Because I'm paying you to enjoy it. It's like, what are you really enjoying here? Always. It's not even close. I mean, like, I think I've done it, like, twice. Destiny's very bad faith when it comes to debating people um, that he truly wants to, like, ritualistically humiliate. And by that, right. I mean... I don't think that he was trying to ritualistically humiliate Ben. It was pretty civil. By that, I mean, like, people who really, he, he really considers to be his, like, ideological opponents. And oftentimes... It's nice to see Destiny when he's not in fucking demon mode, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little too crazy. It's nice when Destiny doesn't use slurs, okay? I don't like that part. It has nothing to do with ideology at all and everything to do with, like... I think the DGG is misspelled. It's not DGG. It's the DOG community. I think it's uh, Hassan's just, like, upset that his dog passed away a while ago. It's really sad stuff, man. I pray for your dog. Like the vibes, okay? <clears throat> That's it. He likes the thrill of the debate, I guess. Yeah. Uh, just like I like the thrill of the top of the air break and debating you. I always say this. For Vosh and Hassan, you should challenge them. Because I know some of you f***ing freaks are crossover uh, viewers. I don't know how or why. How am I going to beat this guy? Us, um, either me and Hassan or me and Vosh. But yeah, whenever people... Like, what are some examples of bad faith arguments? Um, like... Bring them up. And make, th and make sure they actually show you the argument, too. Because sometimes they'll just like misrepresent or lie about what I've actually said as well. Yeah, should make them watch chip. the video, too. Dude, how am I supposed Get to it yourself now. Terrible dog I understand NATO sucks, but does it need to reform or should something replace it? I mean, I'm a bit of a truther, uh, like Yanis Varoufakis, that the European Union could be reformed inevitably truth, to like uh, not it. turn out neoliberal capitalism. But Yanis Varoufakis, that the European Union could be reformed inevitably to like uh, not turn out neoliberal capitalism, but instead, I guess, a lot of words, uh, some semblance of socialism. Of but no, NATO is not a thing that it's like reforming the police. Like, no, you can't. That's not happening. Why can't you reform the police? Are, haven't we expanded the amount of body cams that are on police officers? I feel like that's a good thing. I feel like you can reform the police. It's just not an instantaneous process. What is he talking about? Doesn't mean that like there there isn't a necessity. Well, NATO is a little bit different than the police as well because there's a need for you know some semblance of law and order. NATO, yeah, but there's yeah, yeah yeah. NATO on the other hand, nah, <laughs> no, it is one use and one use only. You can't reform. Which is to spread neoliberal capitalism at the behest of American imperialist colonialist policy. Oh, that was, I'm assuming that's what Hassan thought. From, to me, it's to spread Western values, which are better than other values. That's it. That's, that's how it is, baby. That's how it is, baby. Like, we it, love guys, it, baby. Guys, guys. We love it. Just don't Google. Nicest country to the gays and the girls, and that's it. That's what I care about. I, I love women. 
I care about women. That's why I care about America. Because America likes women more than a lot of these other countries. Western German involvement in NATO. Sorry, dude. I I lo- I, I'm, I'm a true. I'm a true feminist. I'm a true gayinist. Gay. That's a gay advocate. Just so you guys know, a gayinist. I'm truly gay. For women, I love them. I'm very happy for them. But they think they're yucky and they stink. I'm just kidding. That one guy brought up Operation <laughs> Gladio. The operation involved the use of assassination, psychological warfare, and false flag operations to delegitimize left-wing parties in Western European countries. Even went so far as to support anti-communist militias and right-wing terrorism as they tortured communists and assassinated them, such as Eduardo Mondelein in 1969. The United States Department of State rejected the view that they supported terrorists, maintains that that the operation served only to resist a potential invasion of Western European countries by the Soviet Union. We very much are obsessed with, like, U.S. foreign policy during the Cold War, which was probably bad. Um... I'm hedging everything now because now I don't trust anything until I actually do the reading myself. I don't but care. I my want it to be It's probably really aggressive, Shoot. like pretty bad. But also oh, keep in mind it? that we were also fighting against the Soviet Union, whose foreign policy was also really aggressive and really bad. Um, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, everybody was doing it. Thing. Hey, sometimes you got to get down and dirty. You got to fight fire with fire. You know, which I think just makes more fire, unfortunately. But hey, you know what? I didn't make the term. Yeah, reforming NATO is like reforming the Third Reich, which is a good take actually, because what? Lo and behold, a lot of the Third Reich guys. They were not good guys. They have made their way into NATO. What? Just saying. Well, who? What does that mean? That's a pretty loaded phrase to make, man. What do they do? Do they kill and jail gay people? What? NATO, what Nazi doing? arming and training organization. <clears throat> yeah, I guess what we did with NATO was we reformed the Nazis and turned them into... Well, but like, yeah, unironically, yeah. That's why Germany is like the... One of the, if not, <laughs> it's actually funny. It's not a good point. The most prosperous country in Europe and is like seen around the world as like a pretty good model of democracy and functioning economy and statehood. And like, yeah, we that's actually funny. That's a good point. I didn't, wouldn't even have thought of that. You mean, yeah, and unironically, though, yes, the Nazis <laughs> and turned them into like Nazi plus. Oh, nice. That's dude. what Germany is now. That took in probably, I think, didn't Germany take in something around? Well, is Hassan referring specifically to Germany or is he just trying to use the word Nazi as an insult constantly to delegitimize something else because he's a fucking baby that like doesn't understand anything? Didn't Germany take in? Um, let's just look it up. I'm not going to ask questions. Um, oh, I can answer the question, obviously. Who took in largest number of migrants, uh, Syrian refugee crisis, Europe? Sweden took in more per capita, but Sweden's retarded. Hey! Stop it. I feel like most of them stopped because Germany was like one of the first stops, I think, for all these people for big countries. Look at the graph. Top. Yeah, they put them in some really nice camps. Right. This is the number of refugees and absolute values. Okay, so not as per capita, but absolute. Germany, yeah, I'm pretty sure Germany took in by far the most. That's what I remember hearing. Was it just overall instead of per capita? Okay. Um, per capita, I think Sweden took in the most. Probably too many. <laughs> well, I don't really care about it unless it's per capita. So what's the uh, per capita for Germany? I mean, like, is this, this is Nazi plus, I guess. I wonder if our Georgian friend knows about that. Probably. I'm sure. Voice acted by an American dude. Who fit I think the that's lo- why he didn't like suck NATO. I also hate one of the things I caught parts of Hassan's stream last night. I hate when Hassan is like, I interview journalists on the ground, media people, historians, blah, 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 blah. Well, he just looks at alternative news sources on Twitter that are unverified, doesn't he? To act like he's getting more information about a given conflict, but he doesn't. He finds basically activist people. So activist journalists, activist reporters, activist historians, and then he brings them. Yeah, but would you want, uh, would you want journalists that aren't active? Ists, you know what I mean? They're not active enough to get you the stuff on the ground. On, and they just circle jerk for an hour. Like, has he ever actually brought on a journalist Can or a scum? lower the scream a wee bit? You're loud in my mind. Shut the fuck up. Get or anybody here, that's dude. disagreed with get his opinion about here. something and fought with them? Or- get out of here. Would you get gifted a sub, dude? If you're not here for the screaming, then what are you here for? What the fuck? Or is he literally just reaching out to the activist class of these people on I'll Twitter talk, and then bring them on to so re- I'll talk like this. Destiny. Hassan Minaj. I've I've noted that you haven't been talking about Camden Gerard Davis for the past three months. The Leviathans are coming. Or his opinion. Like, it's so stupid that he constantly tries to say that he talks to experts in the field, and you don't. He doesn't read it, and he doesn't read anything yeah, good either, yeah. right? Even Wikipedia yeah. would be better than him. Like, oh, wait, hold on, I'm so educated. I think Hassan made a, uh, like, went after Destiny for using Wikipedia, too. In this, I read articles by The Gray Zone. I talked to Ryan Grimm. Uh, I read a book zone. by Finkelstein. Uh, I read articles on The Intercept. I was like, okay, why not do, like, some actual research? Like, step outside of your very, 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 very narrow bubble and view of the world, and, like, actually read some material from people that are actually... I would actually- rather Hassan not do that. I'm pretty, I'm enjoying the, the, the lol cow um, I'm enjoying like the the lol cow ness of Hassan. It's actually a lot of fun. And make like maybe disagree with you, you know? Yeah. It was as hard and literally said it's like the difference between getting a hand job with a. It's the difference between getting a hand Ooh. job with a latex. I thought his dog was dead. What the hell? Glove and getting a hand job with sandpaper. That's okay. why he said that. 
Okay. Or also, I think that if the main character was constantly speaking with a heavy Finnish accent, it would make the game a lot more enjoyable. Guys, listen, listen. Post World about? War II. Come on, stop supplying that the ne Nazis ruled the world. Really? The supplying narrative that the Nazis ruled the world, brother. I'm a firm believer that. Okay. And I just talked about it uh, uh, earlier as well. That that neoliberalism just simply gave more breathing room for a more <sighs> reformed fascist administration. A fascist organization. What does he think fascism is or means? What does he think that means? Hey, I, my question, what is neo, neoliberalism? <laughs> <laughs> a political approach that favors free market capitalism, deregulation, and reduction in government. Oh, yeah, I guess that's that's not very good. That's That doesn't sound too good. I like free market capitalism. I don't like the deregulation. And I do want reduction in government spending, but as long as it's like we can pull it off. You know what I mean? I still think we need some welfare stuff. Uh, okay. I listen, you might be making fun of me for looking that up. I've heard that term before. You know, I don't internalize everything. But you motherfuckers needed that definition too. So shut up, you know? What is fascism to him? Did that answer? I'm asking these facetiously, fascistically. Because <laughs> to him, fascism is just not communist or not um, socialist. To him, fascism is every, all liberalism is fascism. Um, you know what? I think Applebee's is fascist because they won't let you take home some of the $15 um, all you can eat shrimp riblets and chicken that's like dude what the heck what are you fascist what are you a nazi that's because i'm jewish that so you won't let me take it home i'm just looking for a good deal um fascism will inevitably come once again in order to organize the the uh crises that we experience under capitalism what is the take what's the famous what's the famous statement it's like um nazis lost world war ii but they they won Hassan also mentioned that he bodied you a few years ago in a debate about Trump's success as a Republican president. Is this true? What? I have no idea. What do we even debate about? Was I debating that I felt like Trump wasn't very successful and he thought that he was? That feels like it might have been a debate, but this would have been four or five years ago. But if so, I'm pretty sure I'm hey, definitely staying hey, correct. Hey, hey, hey. Who's pretending that I know about politics, dude? What are you talking about? What do I pretend I know about politics, brother? Correct on that. Trump was not very successful as a president. Um, he's popular, <sighs> but he didn't really enact much legislation. He really didn't accomplish much um, outside of like what is... I know a little bit. I know a little bit, but I don't think I pretend to know about stuff. I'm just kind of here for the ride, brother. Like narrowly defined as the powers that can't be contested on like federal judge appointments or Supreme Court appointments or whatever. If you know too much about politics, then you can never be a political commentator because then like it's boring. You know, you need to kind of just jump into the ring, say some wild, crazy shit, and be like, what the hell? Right by it. What the hell? That's what you said at the time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I still stand by that. I think it's it's the bleeding argument that I use against conservatives today, uh, that I don't think Trump was a very good, even if you're a Republican, I don't think it's a good president for you, because he didn't do anything. Damn. Like, they said so. But Nazism won. Like, fascism won. Nazis might have lost World War II, but fascism won. Is yeah, definitely a prescient take when you consider the fact yeah. that there was a fuck. He thinks Nazism won because the Soviets didn't win. That's literally it. I guess Damn. in his mind. Wow, you're so bad faith when it comes to Hassan Destiny. It's really fucked up. Was the world was communism versus fascism and fascism won. God, he's such a loser. Fucking <laughs> SS Galicia Division <laughs> Ukrainian Nazi. I got a standing fucking ovation in the Canadian parliament like literally oh, three months ago. That's crazy. Or four months ago. Okay. What? Canada's Nazis now? Jesus, man, I always hear people talk about how they're too progressive. Why did he get that standing ovation? Not because everyone's like secretly. Yeah, if you know too much about politics, you're kind of gay and like a loser. You know, well, there's nothing wrong with being gay. It's a really good thing, actually. So I wouldn't want to do that. But um, so it's kind of like you're a dork, you know, like, oh, I actually a Nazi or whatever. OK, in, in the Canadian parliament. It's more nefarious than that. It's more banal, but more nefarious than that at the same time. Mm, that was a misunderstanding. Serious question. How long do you think until Twitch Buddies ditch his increasingly unhinged behavior? I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. I truly don't. I don't even know how much he associates with the other Twitch people. Like, is any kind of has any started to make enemies now with a lot of people? Like, um, well, I mean, the only like, who does he really have left? Like, Pokemon, and you know, that's that's gonna go away as his fame goes down. So, what does he really have? Left? He really fucked himself with the Ethan thing. He really did. He really fucked himself with that one. He's not really friends with XQC anymore because XQC yanked the Sun Chain too much. I guess. You know, it's not enough that they get like big deals from like you know, Kick or Steak or whatever the. Kick or stick? What? Also have to have like the number one slot on the platform. So when they're, that's not happening, you got to pull the Hassan ripcord, right? What's with the wind in the background? But the problem is you pulled it so hard you pulled, that I don't- You pulled my ripcord too hard, XQC. I've also noted that you have been very quiet when it comes to Camden Gerard Davis. The Leviathans are coming. Have the same juice no more. You oh, know what I mean? Relax, man. Like when you panic and you say Hassan every time, 
and you've done that for like three years at this point, it's not going to be as good because I no longer have the same audience because you. Well, didn't didn't XUC make fun of Hassan because he would still get up and go to the bathroom on his reactions and then he would have his editor like edit in him not going to the bathroom or something? <laughs> Isn't that what it was? Pulled the f on ripcord too many times and you sucked me dry. Ooh. So now I don't Ooh. have the fucking the juicy cow titties that you want to milk. Damn. You know what I mean? He's saying that he embarrassed you so much that you know you're no longer content that you can that he can harvest. You got to find a new target to be like that's a bad guy. You can't farm me for as much as I honestly don't think that XGC would constantly call us on a bad guy. I feel like they were like um <clears throat> I don't think that they were that on that many bad terms, were they? Uh, you know, you want to when there's no more. And wasn't Hassan the one that would talk about XQC more? Am I wrong? I could be 100% wrong about that. But I feel like Hassan, like when that whole thing where he was uh, XQC was going through like a breakup or whatever, and he had all that going on, and then he didn't show up to the creator clash thing or, or whatever event he was supposed to show up to, and Hassan just cried about that, like dumb shit. Farming <clears throat> that you can conduct here. Yeah, I have no idea. What is this guy on a snowy mountain? Idea like what his connections or friendships even look like. It wouldn't surprise me at this point if like Will Neff was more connected, but I don't know. I have no idea. I truly don't know. Yeah. I'm friends with my mom. So in ovation I'm good. in the Canadian Parliament, like literally <clears throat> three months ago. Or four months ago. Okay. Why did he get that standing ovation? Not because everyone's like secretly a Nazi or whatever, okay, in, in the Canadian Parliament. It's more nefarious than that. It's more banal, but more nefarious than that at the same time. That was a misunderstanding, though. No, the misunderstanding only stems from the reality that... I don't know what he's talking about. Those Nazis happen to be anti-communist. Uh, you cannot yeah. chalk that up as a misunderstanding if it's a crazy. deliberate attempt to pump your numbers with a bunch of anti-communist and anti-socialists. Who are the biggest anti-communist and anti-socialist so right, post-World War II? Who were the best anti-Nazi and anti-socialist fighters after World War II? Of uh, the the World War what? Because guess what? Countries had partisans. Wait, what? I don't know so what two, <clears throat> a deliberate attempt to pump your numbers with a bunch of anti-communist and anti-socialists. Who are the biggest anti-communist and anti-socialists post World War II? Who were the best anti-Nazi and anti-socialist fighters after World War II? Oh, I guess he's saying communists. Because guess what? Countries had partisans. Countries had resistance members. All of those guys were okay. labor union people, trade unionists, uh, socialists, okay. communists, and anarchists as well. That's crazy. Those guys fought against the Nazis. Has he gotten like more intense with this Nazi talk lately, or is it, or am I just paying more attention now? Nazis and the fascists. The the fascists that lost, however, were put back am into power after World War II. But okay, maybe dumb question: Which is preferable, Nazism or Soviet communism? Um. I would say probably Soviet communism. Uh, the Nazism, all of the uh, undercurrents with like the heavy racialization of everything, I think is pretty bad. Um, it's like comparing poop to pee right there, huh? And pretty indefensible. Also, <laughs> I'm lay epic atheist, so I'd probably side with commies over fascists. Fascists are probably more likely to have our religious bent to them, um, would be my guess versus... I think, I'm, I, think I have, um, I, I look a little too, you know, I don't look German enough to be a, a Nazi, if you know what I'm saying. Nazi, uh, so fascist, have, Nazis you know, versus... Uh, so I couldn't go with that. Like socialist or communist, but I think we're generally... Um, more atheist in nature, right? By, you might have guessed it, countries that involve themselves with NATO, whether they wanted to or not. So that's it. That's the whole point is that because those guys were the best communist killers out there, America was like, well, the real war is against communism. Let's go. Let's use. Why is he implying that like we needed Nazis to like win against? This is such a weird writing of rewriting of history. What, like the, the idea that we needed that we needed Nazis to fight our battles all over the world? Like they're the thing of- Yeah, I mean, communism, communist countries for the most part seem to do themselves in. So why would you even need help to fight against them, huh? Avengers or some shit? What a weird f***ing take. Would I prefer fascism or communism? Um, you know, I think I prefer Ben and Jerry's ice cream to those. Who's the best communist socialist killers? Let's Pretty use them good. to our advantage. They're just standing there, yeah, not doing anything. They're not doing nothing. Is cool accent. They also delve a lot into Finnish and Scandinavian. Yeah, what about all the Nazis that joined the USSR after as well? They took, they had their own Operation Paperclip, and they took more than we did. Like what the fuck, Paperclip? The UK is in NATO and are the most. Who names these things? Anti-Nazi of them all, country of them all. And then, then it's like the fake laugh after doing. The Who's the guy that's in charge of naming the operations? I'd like to try that one. This whole fucking soy rant where he like doesn't justify or give a single like true take or fact supporting any of his opinion, and now he's gonna laugh like the guy just did the most ridiculous thing in the world. This is a gut teaser. Sorry, show. what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gut teaser.
this laugh is insufferable. Holy fuck. <laughs> All right, I can't even finish this video. I'm, I gotta go. I have dinner. Uh, I have a boys' night. Oh, boys' night! Woo! Who, what do you think? Who do you think his boys are? But that was funny, Chatter. Thank you. That was sick. That was a good. That was a good haha -ha meme to to end it on a, a funny note, bro. I'm not even kidding. Like, given how much I feel like Hitler was such a weeb for. What? We need a Hassan fake laugh soundboard. That's for real, man. I think it's what do we got on the old LSFs? Check this removed thread on LSF. Okay, hold on. Wasn't didn't Hassan try to get all the threads down? What do we got here? An update to several streamer payout programs. Expanding the Partner Plus program, eliminating the US 100k cap. Bro, give me, give me the, the actual Hassan. Seven random give me the actual Hassan Daniel. stuff. 1.4k. What is this? What? Here we go. This is what I was going to watch. Women from being able to get incentivized bad things. There we go. Engage with. He just said he wants big, uh, he wants little government. Sorry. This is what we were gonna watch before. Are you gonna engage with what he's saying or dismiss it with no rationale? What do you What do you want me to engage with? Like, what What can I engage with? He's just saying. Was Hassan just dismissing everything Destiny was saying? And he wants big. Uh, he wants little government, and he wants to incentivize oh. good things and not incentivize bad things. Okay, I don't know what he thinks is good and bad. Well, I do know, but it's very different than what I think is good and bad, right? Oh, I guess Hassan's right. I said the I said a similar criticism when I was watching that. Ben was like very vague in what his solution would be, and I wish that they had asked him like, well, what does this look like? You know, how does this work? You know, what I mean, that would have been cool. Um, because Ben was giving very vague answers. So when he leaves it like... But again, like, what are you supposed to do? Is Destiny's first time talking to Ben Shapiro. Um, like, what is he supposed to do? Like, attack the guy? You know, I think it went pretty well. I mean, you have to be polite if you want, especially if you want to have another conversation. You know, especially if Destiny wants to be the first, the first ever progressive to be on Ben Shapiro's um, Daily Wire show called The Counter Perspective. Whoa. That, okay, that is not an idea that is, like, fun to engage with at all. It's just a stupid... You just want me to expose the hip hop? They'll do like a crossfire like they used to do. But then also, uh, John Stewart will come on there and, and, and bully the both of them for being a sham. In his rhetoric. And sure, I will do that for you. Okay? He claims he wants small government, but he also wants to stop women from being able to get abortions. There you go. Damn. Inherent hypocrisy right there. I don't think that's an inherent hypocrisy. He said, uh, he said smaller government, not no government. You know, I obviously disagree. Abortions are based. I love abortions. It's my favorite thing in the world. Um, <laughs> but it's not a hypocrisy to say I want smaller government, but also uh, to have women not be able to get abortions. I don't. I don't think that's a hypocrisy, is it? Are you gonna engage with what he's like if you say you want no government, but you want women to not be able to get abortions, then that would be a hypocrisy. But saying or dismiss it with no rationale. What do you What do you want me to engage with? Like, what What can <laughs> I engage with? He just said he wants big. Okay, he wants big BCs. What do you think I make money by saying America is bad? Oh, of course Hassan makes money saying America's bad. That's all the rage right now. Oh, no, really? How to make money courses, but the way those they made that money was through the cores? What? You think I make money by saying America is bad? A thousand percent. Do you know how much more money I would make if I said America is good? None. You wouldn't make any money. Hassan is his entire thing. Um, his entire thing is... Did we get to this yet? Hassan, I genuinely don't understand why he said Desi was good at debating. Uh, we might have to watch this as well, but the, his son's entire thing is like being attractive to like like kids on the internet. I'm not making like a pedophile thing, but like young people who are very ignorant to the world love Hassan, and all they know is America bad, and that's pretty much it. They're young and they're kind of angry, which just makes sense. I mean, I get it. I was angry too, but like, yeah, you wouldn't make any money saying America's good. It's not really super trendy to be a uh, it's a fucking conservative, but just usually the people who say America's good. I love America, by the way. I love it. But it's not like a like you wouldn't make any more money at all. Your entire demographic hates America. You wouldn't make anything. I think this dog the second he admits America is not that bad, he loses like half of his viewership. Well, he's good at debating when he wants to be. Because oh, I'm watching the long video. Sorry. What kind of stupid take? Why is do this? people keep saying this? Why do people keep pretending this when some of the like largest podcasts right now are highly critical of America? Right? I, love I, feel like I love America because you can be critical of it. Populism is the trend right now to make money. Like Joe Rogan is a populist. Pretty sure he attacks America a lot, or at least the institutions. Does he? And everything related to it. I don't think that that's true, but I could be wrong. Um, how, like Chapo Trap House, they still exist. They made a ton of money in their Patreon. That Brianna person made a fuck ton of money on her Patreon. Like, Look at these two goobers right here. Goobers? Do you think they're particularly charismatic? Joe Rogan dick sucks America. I guess it depends on what you mean when you say like it America bad. It doesn't require too much. Did you well, Hassan's thing is everything America does is bad. Has the Joe Rogan's definitely not that guy. It doesn't require too much to just say America good always. Okay. That's my whole political outlook. Biden historically divisive or um, probably really divisive. The people that like Trump worship Trump. I don't know. I, like, one of the most precious things that Trump Dude, just fucking be honest about it. What are you doing? Oh, the people that like Trump really like Trump. Just fucking say it. They're I said worship Trump. I said they worship Trump. 
are you doing? Oh, the people that like Trump really like Trump. Just say it. They're insane. Okay. They're yeah, they are insane. I agree with that too. I said that in my, I said the people that love Trump, I said, if you vote Trump, you're not insane. But if you're like a MAGA supporter, you're, you're insane. You're a psychopath. But also why would Hassan, I mean, why would Destiny go and say that? Right? Like, I mean, Destiny's probably wouldn't say, well, first of all, he kind of alluded to it. But second of all, he's not going to be too provocative because he's trying to have a conversation. And I'm, I'm assuming that part of the mentality is to pull some people over. Um, on the other side, too. Why would he? Okay. They're insane, sweaty little hogs and hogalinas and hoglets that run around Damn, oinking like the little piggies that they are. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. They are a cult. The idea. The I, I think Hassan's fucking viewers are a cult, too. Jesus Christ. The idea that these dumb motherfuckers are gonna come back to reality is insane. That's number one. Number two, most of the Republican Party knows that they're fucking hogs, okay? And don't really care all that much, and they're going to rally around Donald Trump anyway when the time comes, okay? okay. Just, Just be honest. Be honest. It's cult. It's cult shit. Yeah, Destiny, it's your fault for not being aggr more aggressive. They're a cult, okay? You cannot reason with a group of individuals who think Joe Biden is a fucking pedophile vampire who stole, <laughs> what? stole the election. Who simultaneously Bro, Hassan, if he was actually intentionally funny, I think that uh, he might do better. But he's like unintentionally so funny. It's just to like make fun of. It's funny. A doddering old fool, but also a sinister plot maker. That I used the word funny like four times in that sentence. That's, that's pathetic. Stole the election from millions of honest Americans. Like, it's none of it makes sense. It's just a, it's just a group of <laughs> mouth breathers who personally believe Trump good, Biden bad, Democrats are socialist, communist, pedophile, transgender vampires. Incredible stuff. <laughs> Jesus. So if Destiny said sorry, you'd be cool with that? Yeah. As somebody watches almost every Rogan pod, he definitely doesn't hate America, lol. He's just kind of down the conservatives. Yeah, I feel like, if anything, he loves America. Like, I, he's a little more conservative, which is fine. So I don't see why you'd say I mean, he hates America. Destiny literally said they worship, which applies to an irrational level of support. True. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Right. It sounds like Hassan maybe is just looking. He might just be looking to, to give to take a give Destiny an L. He's like, oh, why isn't he being blah, 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 blah. It's like, all right, relax. It's okay, man. We're, we're going to be okay. Yes. Oh, we saw this. Yes. This is one of the most yeah. pathetic things I've ever seen in my life. This was like a week okay. ago, though. So if Destiny said sorry, you'd be cool with that? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean you'd be cool with what? If he came out and apologized for literally fucking aligning with every and any Nazi that he could come to terms with and uh directing his community to the cyber bro he's so i feel like hassan is so desperate to like i want to back in like yeah it's weird that listen i, I have seen criticism it's weird um that like destiny became friends with a lot of weird like shitty people and he still does it it's something that does bother me like the nick fuentes thing um obviously nick fuentes nico there's a bunch of them uh mr girl fucking disgusting piece of shit I a part of it's because he got content brain. He wants content. And part of his rationale again is going to be like, oh, maybe if I can get to them or I get to their audience and shift their perspective, whatever. It is what it is. The one that bothers the fuck out of me now is the Myron one. The guy's a rape apologist and tells women who were raped that it's their fault. They should have picked better guys. So that bothers me when he says stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like, do you expect an apology? Oh yeah, I would if he would just say he's sorry. It sounds like you want him to say he's sorry to mend the bridge. You want the bridge back. But at this point, like, what would ever be the point? I think at this point, if like. Destiny talked to us on that's fine, but if he became friends with him again, Destiny's a loser. Destiny's a fucking loser if he becomes friends with Hassan again because he has this he seems to have this consistent issue um of just becoming being friends again with people that fuck him over so hard. It's so weird. So if he ever did that again, I think that would be that would be like, wow, like how do you have any respect for yourself? <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't do that. Um, I'd love to see a conversation, though. I'd love to see a conversation or an OF collab. That would be fantastic. For stalk me for the past. Five, five. You know what Hassan should have tried to do? If he really wanted to, uh, if he really wanted to get to Destiny, he should go try to fuck Melina. Right? I'm sure that there's still some love in, in, in Destiny's heart for her. I know that that sounds terrible, but hey. It, sheesh, you know what I mean? That might be, that might be, that could be something. That could be something. That's something to think about. Five years and have entire pace bins full of like clips out of context that they can readily throw at any conversation and try to literally brigade any and every literally. mention of me online. Widow if he was genuine and Lee apologetic, I absolutely uh, widow -wo would take. Does he think that every single bad opinion online has come from my community? That's Hassan just has to set a high bar for you to make amends again. That's what it is. Charitably. It's fucking crazy that Hassan's even talking about this guy. It's wild. I mean, I'd be friends with him. I used to be friends with him. I was friends with him because I thought he was a reformed libertarian. I knew his past. I've defended him. I've defended him time and time again. Who are they talking about? I used to be friends with him. That charitably. I mean, I'd be friends with him. I used to be friends with him. I was friends with him because I thought he oh, was a reformed libertarian. 
I knew his past. Pretty I'm, sure you were friends with Destiny because that's who he's referring to. I'm assuming, obviously, but uh, because he was more popular than you and could platform you. Did he like let you stay at his house? Weirdo. Defended him. I'm defending. Case is Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> defended him time and time again. There are. Defend me, Destiny. Time and time again, defend me. Please, Destiny, Almost defend there. me. Four more DMs. Defend me, please. Uh, what's this? Be friends with me, please. Please. Watching right now, if you want. Can I just tell you guys something? Oh, this is so weird. Uh, I'm so excited for Saturday because on Saturday I'm going out um, with my cousin and his boyfriend, and I'm very excited. I like his boyfriend, and it's like I'm looking forward to it. I don't really, my wife and I don't really go out too much, you know. So it's gonna be cool. That's it. I'm just excited for that. And we're getting sushi. I was, I'm gonna treat too, but it's a nice all-you-can-eat sushi place. So I'm looking forward to it. I don't usually look forward to stuff. So if he cancels the plan, I'll actually be unironically upset. And like just the way the world works, sometimes I'm like, oh man, he's gonna cancel the plan. And I'm getting fucking, it's working me up. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, what happens if he does? That would make me so upset. I would have to still go to the buffet and eat my my, my feelings, you know? Because <clears throat> I'm smart. Can... Because I'm smart. Two for one on that one. Debate daddy. If you want to see your Because guess what? I eat when I'm hungry, I eat when I'm sad, and I eat when I'm happy. Smart. And I eat when I'm bored. And I eat when I have things to do. And I'm, uh, I always eat. Debate Daddy get fucking owned on this. I literally argued with Destiny on this where I said Trump is a very Damn. successful Republican. Something Trump I stand on to this day. Something successful. that I can absolutely own. I mean, I guess he is. He won the presidency. Owned him on as well. If you want to go fucking I, watch the oh, debate. Oh, I owned him on that. Oh, well, why don't you debate Destiny about One Piece, Hassan? That's a really important topic. Debate him on One Piece. On those boundaries. It's somewhere on my YouTube. I don't remember. It's like so many years ago. But Jeez, Donald Trump you beat him in a debate 20 years ago, dude. That's fucking awesome. I usually like to talk about all my successes from years ago as well. By the way, I'm a, um, by the way, um, I am an Eagle Scout. I don't know why that took me so long to fucking figure that out. Trump is a <laughs> phenomenally like. successful. Ray Pierce super chatted five dollars. <sighs> yeah. Watched your of grooming tier list and realized you missed <laughs> some son and daughter daughter combinations. Oh, true. I think this needs a My revisit. Bad. Okay, uh, he's referring to the OnlyFans daughter father video I made. <laughs> okay. A Republican. Thank if you. anything, the Republican Party is currently experiencing whiplash. Because uh, they are experienced. Yeah, shut up. It's not my boyfriend. It's my cousin, dude. That's kind of that's, that's gay and also incest. They're victims of his success. Okay. Donald Trump is not unsuccessful at all. He was profoundly successful yeah. for a Republican yeah, yeah, yeah. party. He's the reason why I would go to Domino's for the 555 deal because of that amazing commercial. Pretty policies. He packed the courts. He destroyed the regulatory agencies. <sighs> sure. He offered fat tax cuts fat for cock. no fucking reason at a time when there was no necessity for it. Um, three Supreme Court justices, luck or not, doesn't matter. He did that shit. Okay, so the idea that he is the idea that he's not a successful uh, the idea that he's not a successful Republican. By the way, the <laughs> hold on, where is it? Oh, why don't you debate him instead of talking about this debate from years ago? Well, it's wonderful because Lefty McLefterson very quickly proved exactly why I don't debate most of these people in the debate. But he will like be an actual debate pedophile and screeching to get that um, Willie uh, Willie Mac onto his stream to debate. Yeah, because he thought. And, and, and he thinks he could beat Willie Mac. And like when I watched it, I think that to Hassan's audience, you know, he kind of, I thought he kind of came out like, oh, he looks like, like he just, he kind of just bullied him. He debate lorded him on that one. That's why he talked to Willie Mac. But Destiny would roll the guy. I mean, that's the whole thing. You know, it's time to get a new shtick, Hassan. I don't think you're going to be able to work it out. All Destiny has to do is he has to get like five inches taller, um, get a little more muscular. And have nicer hair because what are you doing? And then stop saying the arsler, and he's literally going to take over Twitch. That's all. That's all. That's all it's going to come down to. That's it. It's all he needs to do. And they have you could do all. You have their surgeries for it now. Their surgeries for it now. So, and I don't hear conservatives complaining by the way about the surgeries for uh, people getting taller. They don't go, oh, well, you added four inches to your height, but you're not six foot five in now, okay? Or rather, you're not five foot nine, because you know nobody at six foot one is getting that surgery, right? They're they're saying, okay, I guess you're that tall, right? So why the fuck do you have a problem with trans women, bro? What's wrong with you, okay? Why are you sipping for these tall surgery guys, weirdo? Like tweeting out incessantly, and in twenty minutes, because the guy who responded, like, oh, look, he's dodging me, like, <laughs> Late Lord Spear, because there's followers coming here. That's a funny voice, and I'm a kid, and I love funny voices. Here for months on end, and keep repeating shit like Hamas Piker. True. Now he's being a <laughs> debate cuckold. Watching, he's watching me and somebody else debate. He's being a debate cuck. Like, Damn. how am I? Because he Damn, am I a debate cuck? Holy shit. <laughs>
<laughs> Did I get the bait cucked by Destiny Adventure Bureau? What the hell? Doesn't actually oh, no. fucking uh, deal with people oh, that he so considers scary. to be on the left as like, uh, you know, good faith people. That's why his entire community thinks I'm pro-Russia across the board. And oh, a thousand percent. It's not Destiny's community. It's because you literally said that like Ukraine, like you justified Russia genociding Ukrainians and then taking over their land. By saying, oh, it's actually their land. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's, when you say silly stuff. Spread that far and wide. Okay? Motherfuckers are still coming in here and saying the most coming? Islamophobic bullshit. That's the reason. Based. Because I'm what? getting fucking... Aw, uh, does that hurt your feelings? Just wipe those tears away with millions, bro? First of all, that's not a good counter, brother. And secondly, okay, all right, you could just fucking be as racist as you want to LeBron James then. You know, he's rich. Based. So just go call him the N-word? Like, what are you... <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, what kind of fucking argument is this, dumbass? Nobody's calling Hassan H Hamas uh, Piker because he's... Turkish or whatever, they're telling him that because he defends a terrorist organization and has zero empathy for, for Israel. You should criticize Israel, absolutely. But, like, he has no empathy for them. He doesn't care. Like, he's dumb. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He lets his entire chat steamroll Ethan, okay? If if if, if people are um, racist for calling him a Hamas piker, then, like, he's anti-Semitic for disagreeing with Ethan. That's just the rules we're going to be, if we're going to be that brain dead about this. <laughs> okay. Also, you're proving the point I'm making because I, because... It's not, it's not the actual debate itself. It basically turns into like that community's most ridiculous diehard loyalists coming in here and like relentlessly trying to fucking uh, derail whatever I'm trying to do next. There you go. Well, just ignore them. They probably come in there more because you actually respond to their messages because you're a silly goose. Soy boy. Like it's fucking 4chan time. Come on, dude. We've got the CHIPS Act, we've gotten the IRA, we've gotten the uh, ARP, we've got the bipartisan infrastructure bill, and we've got like all this major legislation that is working in this historically divided Congress, as opposed to Trump that got us tax cuts and deficit spending. Um, I, I don't understand where we ever are in this world where Biden is somehow more divisive than Trump. Even the speeches that Ben is bringing up, I, they, they always bring up, I remember that one, um, I think we might have even done it on our episode, the, the one speech that Biden gave where at one point that like the background is red. Mm -hmm. And all the speech reference. reference. Yeah, yeah like, oh my God, it's over, this is the end. And then meanwhile, you got Donald Trump. That's like an everyday speech for Trump. You know, coming into office saying things like, if you burn the flag, you should have your citizenship revoked. Or talking about MS, uh, DNC, that I'm gonna investigate every single one of these uh, media organizations for corruptness. I'm gonna open the libel and defamation laws. I'm gonna take all of these guys to court. Um, you've got this weird project 2025 stuff where, um, is it John Paschal, I think, uh, is talking about, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna investigate all of these people and we're going to try to throw crimes at all these people. Uh, Trump is like the most divisive president. If you stay in your own isolated box, you don't really engage in the whole discourse of my thing, but I don't. See? this. Damn. So you know what's interesting? When I was listening to that part, I remember being like, oh, a lot of this stuff is over my head. That's what I said. I was like, a lot of this is over my head. I don't quite understand everything that's being said because I don't really care. I don't care if you... That's not... I'm okay with people knowing my level of uh, education on these fucking topics. Some of them are beyond me. So some of the stuff they were talking about was like, oh, okay, I don't really understand. I'm here for the ride. I'm here to listen. And it was still an interesting thing to engage with. I like how Hassan didn't know what's talking, what's going on either. And his response is to listen to it, read a chatter to, so that he can get a pause in there and start talking on a tangent to make it seem like he's engaging with the video when he's not. This is, this is the reason. Because um, <laughs> Why the you listen community to comments? that like debate lords fester, foster, create is like hyper toxic and very I like how Hassan isn't he one of the debate lords his entire his his chat his chat his discord is Reddit bullied Ethan until they were no longer friends that's literally one of the most toxic communities For on sure. the internet like I like how how can you even say that like you guys foster toxic communities but by the way the largest podcast that I think I've ever been involved with the co-host had to literally cancel because my community was so fucking toxic yeah, the big thing is he actually managed to nuke one of his only good outreach pro programs, which was leftovers. He nuked his show. Yeah, that's over. Ethan yeah. said that's like done. Yeah, that's wild. People are saying rip leftovers. Um, yeah. It's going to be one of those things where it's like you ever been in a bad relationship before? And when you're in the relationship, you break up and, you know, you, you guys are still happy with each other. Like you still talk a little bit and you're still friendly. And then time goes on and you both look back to the things that you did to each other and you both start to generate anger and resentment about the situation. Some of it is a little irrational. Some of it's like reframing what actually happened, but not really realizing it and being very emotional in your interpretation. That's what's going to happen with Ethan. Like they, they stopped leftovers. It's they're done. They're not coming back. Ethan's going to realize how less stressful things are without communicating with Hassan's office. Uh, excuse me, office. Uh, Hassan's um, audience. And he's going to be happier. And he's going to realize that like Ethan is more successful than Hassan by like a fucking like, 10,000 miles. Like he is, again, he's self-sufficient. Like you criticize him all you want. He's a very impressive platform. Um <clears throat> You know, especially for somebody his age, most people they kind of fall off at a certain point. Ethan's managed to stay around. So, 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, August earned that paycheck, Drew. Just to be honest. Where's my August been, by the way? You just call it leftovers. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Le- like, what do I mean by that? Like, how do you say this without uh, any sense of shame? Like, I'm- that's the best way to be, man. Don't have any shame. Don't be aware of your situation or surroundings. Don't give a fuck, man. That's what you got to do. I'm trying to watch something that was going to be entertaining to you, right? You want to see what my commentary is? Maybe you can clip it's it. Say- you haven't been in a bad relationship. That sucks, man. I'm so sorry for you. To Destiny, and then you guys can have fun with that later. You know, there's like secondary uh, market value to what I'm doing, but you want to derail the conversation. Oh, yeah, I would love them to have a conversation. That would be so nice. I'd, be, I'd make some views off that, baby. I'm all over that. I'm gooning all over that. And just like latch on to like one <laughs> thing that I said and immediately do the same thing that everyone on Twitter does. And it's so oh, geez, annoying. And you Twitter. guys hate it when it's done to you, but you love doing it yourself. Oh, oh I geez. said I like pancakes. Whoa, it doesn't. Wow, why are you saying that you don't like waffles now? Isn't that like a popular meme? I'm going to write a dissertation on that. And if you ever reply to me like the dumbass that you are, I'm going to turn it around and then move on to a secondary point. It's not productive at all. You know, <sighs> does August want me to watch this? Point? Bro, this just sounds- Well, uh, so is Hassan trying to justify why he shouldn't do the podcast it's un- or he shouldn't have a conversation with Destiny because it's unproductive? Didn't he do one with, uh, didn't he have a, a debate with, um, with Morgan, P- Piers Morgan? Like, if your argument is fundamentally that the debate is not going to go well, like, why would you do any debate? It's like, I don't know. Or maybe he's just saying that Destiny's a bad debater or he's a disingenuous one. So boring. He did, he's like a broken record of, like, the same propaganda points. There's, like, nothing of substance. I feel like if I watch him talk about me, I don't know if there's, like, anything of substance. Does he bring up, like, anything of substance, like an actual substantive disagreement? Or is it just, like, all, like, he's a propaganda. <laughs> yeah, he says America bad. Uh, like, it's like, what do I even respond to? It sounds mod being straight up racist. Well, it's not racist if you make fun of me for being Cuban, because it's not racism. Why does he wax his beard like that? I don't get it. My f- hair fell out. I think like a few months. It's- <laughs> what? It's supposed to come back, hopefully. It's called alopecia. <laughs> I like to let's put that side of my... For he the- has actual alopecia, dude. Whoa, what are you doing? Your hair doesn't even want to be around you? Damn, I can't blame Hassan for that. Debate, though. Trigger winning, Gusano. Fuck that Gusano piece of sh**. Gusano, nice. That's so funny. My wife and I call each other silly gooses. That's like the same thing, right? Good server. This isn't even like remotely close to the worst stuff that shows up on a server, though. His server, his Twitter was unhinged. Do you think um, Ethan from h 3 would ever invite you on his podcast? I don't know if he wants to. I don't know what he's doing though, yeah. He might. He might. All you have to do is stop saying the R slur, dude. Well, that's all you have to do, bro. Stop saying it. Stop it. Stop! Last night I had alopecia on my dome, and it was annoying. I ended up going in for injection. Bro, I wish I had alopecia on my wiener, because like I sometimes get these really weird hairs like on like in the middle of the shaft, and like I have to cut them. And sometimes I, I snip it on accident. It hurts. It's so weird that that even happens, man. It's because they determined it was stress induced. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? But even go work out. Apparently, you can get steroid creams and like make it come back faster. I don't give a. F- you what? No. Oh. I don't believe in drugs. Whoa, cool guy. Except for my meth. You're considered oh, you're one of the good Gusano. It's true. I also like how Gusano. Like, could you imagine if I just ran around like calling like random black people coons or whatever? What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? Like, it's, it's it's literally the same thing. And, it and the worst part is it doesn't even make sense. Like. <laughs> I'm, I'm American. I was born in this country. I don't have like a strong position on Castro versus Batista or like. Oh, I love Dave Batista. Oh, He's such a good actor a and a good wrestler. Thank you so much for the small guy, brother. 